All right, guys, so I really didn't want to make a video like this, but I'm so pissed off. I'm just going to have to, you know, give out my rants. Um, some of y'all might not agree with me, and that's fine. We all got our opinions. But for now, shame on Samsung, man. First of all, they delayed. I just found out. I got a morning. I've been waiting for this phone and i figure you know release date's 26 you know i pre-ordered it they're gonna ship it out sometime this week so i wake up monday morning today april 22nd and they give me this letter here this basically says that i got this email basically saying that some of the the testers that have been testing you know those uh phone reviewers been testing and then you know they found like a bunch of problems or whatever and they're gonna investigate all that Okay, well, I, I just really pissed off that, you know, like, first of all, I had to sign up just to be on the pre-order, just to pre-order the phone. So it was basically like two pre-orders, and then now I'm sitting here waiting April 26th, and then they're going to tell me it's going to be delayed. I knew this was going to happen, man. I knew this was going to happen. It's a company like Samsung that makes billions of dollars, I'm pretty sure they have a good testing you know facility to test these phones out and finally when these reviewers you know I, I have nothing against the reviewers it's mostly i'm mad at samsung but you know i just wanted to get my hands on it man it let me get my hands on it for like at least a month and y'all could recall it do whatever let me just like you know play with it a little bit you know get tired of it i'll be tired of it after a month you know you guys could take it back fix it whatever do whatever i'll go back to the s10 that's fine but let give me a chance to go around showing off the galaxy fold man i'm sitting here telling people yeah order this phone for 2000 like you know it's coming out 26 i pre-ordered it got in line you know i was one of the lucky ones to get on the pre-order list i'm gonna get it i'm spending i'm buying three of them i got three i ordered one from best buy ordered two of them from samsung.com and they're two thousand dollars each and to to sit here waiting for this i've been waiting for this phone y'all showcase y'all had amoled phones that are bendable like long time ago and i knew this was going to come out and i finally saw one and i'm like yeah samsung got it you know it's really going to come out i want to get my hands on it then i see all these other tech reviewers you know like unbox therapy and all those other guys you know th they get it firsthand man they're not paying for it they get it for free what about us what about the customers that are paying you two thousand dollars man give it to us the same time the reviewers get it okay this broken stuff should have been fixed when you guys were testing it I mean, you guys, dude, Samsung's like a girl, dude. They just, like, be teasing people. I mean, that's basically like some girl showing her titties and be like, oh, you, you're going to get this on the 26th, but, you know, but then she's going to, like, close up and say, oh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we got we to gotta fix some issues, you know, later on. Man, you tired of waiting, man. Come on now. Tired of waiting. I wanted to get my hands on it. Give it to me so I can review it, man. I opened up this YouTube channel just for that so I could get these phones, innovative phones, so then I could just review them because so I have a chance to get it in my hand for like a few weeks and then that's fine with me. Like I don't, I'm not one of those people, like I get tired of stuff real quick, man. Give it, give me the phone for like a one or two weeks, I'll be on to the new thing. But this right here, what they did, they, they right at the last minute, Samsung's going to be like, oh, you know, we found this and that. I mean... The only legitimate case that I found was basically like something on this one. This picture right here that's coming up. This one. This is the only legitimate case that I found that like, you know, nothing. They didn't. Well, who knows? You know, the other ones, it was peeling off the screen protects or whatever. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have done that. But now they know they didn't get the warning. I understand that. That's fine. Um, the other idiot had like stuck clay on the bottom and of course man I mean ain't nobody gonna put clay on the bottom of the phone man now you that's just plain dumb this guy hopefully this was a legitimate case where you know just using it normally no clay nothing 
and it just broke like that but then this could have been like a defective device every every you know every type of phone whatever has a you know might have a few defective devices out there so you know this might have been one of them or who knows man maybe i don't know he stuck boogers in between the little cut out on the bottom here and it and then it you know went like that who knows but for samsung to tease this phone and put out a release date and to have people pre-order it and all of a sudden they're going to shut it down and say like in the next two weeks we're going to do another 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 launch you know pre-order launch date come on man what's wrong with you samsung i really <sighs> Shame on you, man. This is why I don't like Samsung. I mean, they got great products, but, you know, they do stupid stuff like this, man. And I understand, you know, things could go wrong, this and that. I understand, but you guys had time to be testing that. You guys, you know, developed it. You know, what? why you don't show me the phone, man? If you're not going to get it out, don't show us the phone. Don't show me the phone, man. I hate waiting. I hate waiting. I've been sitting here waiting all this whole time after i pre-ordered it getting so excited for this man i've been living for this i've been living for this phone and then all of a sudden you guys gonna party poop at the end and be like nah it's canceled because of this device broken and this and that well let me get my hands on it first if it breaks i'll give you them give you the device back and i'll get my money back that's fine with me man at least let me get it in my hands I just really, I don't know, man, you, Samsung, you, you doing stupid stuff right now, man, you literally doing some stupid stuff, and I hope somebody at Samsung, you know, sees this video and see, you know, understands how us customers feel, man, because these tech reviewers, they're lucky, they got their hands on it, they got free, they got it free, they don't have to pay nothing, but what about us, man, you guys selling it to make money, what about the guys that pay $2,000 for, what about that, yeah, it, it should have been a device that, you know, wouldn't break so easily, and a, and a few people, you know, they're like, hey, you know, it's, it's better Samsung do, does this and work on it a little bit longer, this, this and that, I bet you half those people aren't even gonna buy the device, I bet you most of us that paid for the device are one of those that just like wants it in their hand. It doesn't matter if, you know, these kind of things happen. They just want it in their hands. I guarantee you that. I bet you like all, over 70% of those people are those kind of people. And those other guys, I'll be like, oh, they could delay it. Hey, those are the guys that aren't giving you Samsung the money, man. They ain't the ones that be getting the newest phone right off the bat like us, like me, somebody like me. I've been getting all the Samsung phones always pre-ordered them was the first on the block to get the phones i don't get them for free i don't get no review units i paid for it just like a regular customer and you doing this hurting hurt is hurting the customer that's paying for these units to make samsung money and that's what freaking pisses me off if you're you know Y'all should have had your own little guys in Korea, you know, messing with the phone and, you know, doing all that and all that and then and, and, and not showcasing it until that thing was fixed. This should have never happened in the first place. So even though this should have happened, even if this happened, don't delay the pre-orders. Just get the phones out. And if there's something wrong with it, if, if there's a major flaw, whatever, do the recall thing. At least, like, you know, we got it in our hands. Or at least give the option, like, hey, you guys still want to, you guys still want to have a choice to, you know, test this phone out. Or you guys want to wait, you know, give us a choice. Don't just, like, delay it and say, like, oh, you know, we had a couple people peel the screen off or something like that. And uh, we found some of these problems, so we're going to have to delay. Man, by the time you guys get this phone out, Huawei is going to come out with the Mate X and I'm probably going to be having that before you guys release it, release this phone, man. And then I'm not even going to get this phone if the Mate X comes out before this. I'm tired of waiting, Samsung. Stop doing this BS, man. And just, man, I just, shame on you, man. Shame on you, Samsung.